We are back now in the 608 this morning with a special announcement from one of our own, and it's a she. It's the only female on this couch that's making that announcement. Would you like the tease ahead of the break? <laughs> the only woman on this ship. Oh my goodness, on air at least. Yes. So you ready for this? Um, I guess we'll see if I get through this without you got crying. This. Uh, I will not be returning after maternity leave. I am staying with News 3, um, but I'm taking a step away from the camera. I will be behind the scenes working as assistant news director in a capacity of leadership and strategy, which I'm excited for, but uh, it's, it's a little painful to let go of you know, being with you guys for so many years. I mean, this is obviously a bittersweet move for you, but this is good news. You're, I mean, promoted into a management role. This is your home market. I mean, a lot of people don't have the opportunity to ever say that, so that's huge. Yeah, I've been here 10 years now. I've worked almost every single shift. Um, you know that I've grown up in front of viewers in more ways than one because this is my home market. So right. a lot of the folks watching are my family, you are my friends, you're my neighbors, and then you have become my family mm -hmm. over 10 years on air. So I'm excited. I am excited mm -hmm. to take a step behind the scenes and work in that capacity. It's going to be such a benefit to the newsroom to have someone who is so ingrained in the community as you in that leadership role to help shift those pieces around during the day, deciding what we cover, what's important, how to uh, put out our resources throughout the day. Uh, it, it's just invaluable. We're going to miss you. Yes. Don't get us wrong. Uh, it's a good position for you. No I'm one excited. is... Kind of you. No one is more passionate about this newsroom than you, oh. so you <laughs> deserve to be in that spot making those decisions, making this community better, and we are so excited for you. You boys are so sweet to me. I am going to cry. <laughs> you Thank did you. it, though. Good hey, job. We're so excited for you, and of course, you've been with the company for a long time, so we had to go dig in for a little past oh material. We have a little something special for you this morning, Leah. Photojournalist Mark Schilling put together a montage of some of your on-air work over the years. Take a look. Not even April showers can rain on the parade of these. Wiscon offers dozens of lectures. Every bike is equipped with an emergency medical kit. While police share stories of Sergeant Cron, some of them include her special bond with members of the Mounted Patrol and K-9 units. Mark and Lisa, there's no doubt that La Crosse County is a shining star for Wisconsin's tourism department. There is still a heavy police presence here along Monona Drive, although if you walk with me here, you will see the drive is back open, frozen out in the cold tonight. But one thing's for sure, the farming community did not leave this family out in the cold. Nice and warm and dry inside, and I'm not going to step outside to tell you. It's a little bit of a different story. The snow coming down pretty hard here in Madison. This is News 3 at 10. Good evening and thanks for staying up late with us for News 3. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 3 this Sunday. And what a gorgeous one at that. The perfect day to get outside and enjoy all that sun. This is News 3 Now This Morning. We have the top three things you need to know as you head out the door. Time for the morning sprint to get your day started with everything you need to know. No. We are talking about Roomba for Rainbow, and I'm the latest poor sucker from News 3 now to give salsa dancing a shot. There she is at the studio with her pro partner, Brady, getting ready for her awesome performance that's going to just wow and stun everyone. I brought you some things because I thought you'd do poorly. <laughs> I brought you a backup milk, some tums, <laughs> some tissues so you can cry. Oh, I'm sweet. Oh, that was okay. oh. There we go. There we go. Well, Wait. Oh my goodness. Do I see three burgers here and only two people? Let me help you out. You know how this goes. Don't make a mess. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Good. I've got a little buddy here too, just wandering around. This is my dog Bascom, in case you didn't know. Here he is. Ezekiel Zeke Zachary was born on December 30th. When you hear him start to squeak at 2 a.m., it's like, oh my gosh. But then you do it, and it's so, it's such a bonding moment that I'll never have again. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided to throw a little birthday party for him. You're going to be performing our ceremony. <laughs> oh, I know. Here they go. Oh, you're so, making me cry. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't be more honored to marry you two. Um, that's the that's the most humbling experience, and I promise I'll do a really nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Live out at the West Town Mall at Metcalf's. Watch out. We're coming in hot to stuff the bus for Look our back-to-school fundraiser. I know. Tailgate ahead of the season opener tomorrow. We have everything you need to know outside of Camp Randall this morning. Let's go, boys and girls. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the words? Did you go? 
Oh, wow. So many good memories. Intern Leah and some of those videos. Oh, my gosh. It goes back quite a while. I mean, you've grown up here. This has been a, a lot of uh, good times, bad times, everything in between your family, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys have truly watched me grow up. I and mean, look at some of those videos. I was so young and <laughs> small. And, uh, you know, 10, 11 years later, here I am. Uh, you guys have been with me through the loss of my brother, through my marriage, through my first son. My second son is on the way. So I can't thank you enough for, you know, sharing these moments with me, always supporting me uh, on no matter what shift I was on. Uh, you guys have been there with me. You guys at home and you guys here. So thank you for that. I uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I will still see you gentlemen. I'll still be in thank the newsroom. Um, and I'll pop up on the airwaves every once in a while. So you guys know I'm here to stay. This is my home. You can always find me here in Southern Wisconsin. Well,